it's an exciting time to be a part of this industry. We're experiencing rapid progress with new technology and techniques being developed constantly. But keep in mind that the primary goal should always be to serve the story and its production needs. Let's discuss when virtual production may be worth considering for your project. It makes sense for a producer to use virtual production as where you're really trying to solve a production problem. The thing about virtual production is that it's really just a tool set and the arsenal of what we can use on a show to solve production problems. Generally, producers may start looking into virtual production for big budget, spectacle, franchise, fantasy, or world building titles. But there are plenty of applications for other projects like docs or unscripted. Compared to traditional VFX work, virtual production offers a real time solution. Naturally, if your script is set in outer space or in a parallel dimension, you'll need to get creative with how you visualize those locations. And keep in mind that even a romantic comedy might use virtual production techniques. For example, on traveling scenes. Oh, you have a shot now, you. In either case, virtual production may be a viable way to construct an authentic environment and tell your story. Until we figure out the logistics of filming on location on Mars, that is. We hear about the big budget products being the ones to use set technologies. But when it comes to solving a challenge that a production has, it can be a documentary, it can be films, musicals, even unscripted shows where you have audiences participating or so. I think the main thing to think about it is how we can help to solve a problem that this production is coming with. And the budgets can vary. It doesn't have to be something super expensive, but we will find a solution for each different project. I want a certain visual spectacle in terms of action, but also in terms of setting. With time, I've learned to create sets that will be not only like playgrounds for stunts, but playgrounds for special effects. We're gonna replace a huge amount of what's actually here with a virtual digital set that we will create in post-production. We've got this new technology that we're working on, which Sean calls the magic iPad, that can show you using the iPad what the whole of the set will look like. Even if your script doesn't require complex CG creations like a fantasy or sci-fi movie, you may still choose to shoot on a virtual stage, also known as an LED volume. You may want to avoid traveling to multiple locations and making multiple company moves, which can be costly and not very sustainable. Or maybe it's tricky to get access to a specific filming location and you need to think of a workaround. This is where filming on an LED volume can help. So what is an LED volume exactly? An LED volume is the physical production stage space made of LED panels and motion tracking systems. Guck dir das an. Ich komme vom Theater und ich kenne das hier ganz sicher nicht. It's called a volume because it's the traceable area inside of the construction that we can shoot in. Taking it back to math class, imagine the volume area within the X, Y, and Z axis of a 3D shape. Now in the filmmaking world, the LED volume is simply our shooting area. The LED volume acts as both an extension to the physical set as well as an overall illumination element. 2D playback content or 3D game engine environments are displayed on the LED walls, blending with the physical set to create a real-time set extension and interactive lighting, all to be captured in camera. La técnica no es nueva, la retroproyección se lleva usando desde mediados del siglo pasado. Lo que sí es nuevo es la, la tecnología que hay detrás. O sea, ahora mismo somos capaces de sincronizar el movimiento de la cámara y elementos como el foco con, con lo que realmente se está proyectando detrás. Entonces nos permite que la cámara se mueva y el escenario pues vaya, vaya acorde a ese movimiento. Eso es algo que, que no se podía hacer. Virtual production shoots can be scheduled differently from traditional productions. In some cases, using on-set virtual production techniques can offer an advantage. For example, if you're working with a child actor who has strict in and out times, on virtual production, you can shoot half of their scene, 
break for school, then come back again and match the frame exactly. You can also maintain precise continuity for reshoots and pickups. Your truth lies behind these walls. This isn't real. Another example of how virtual production may be advantageous over a traditional green screen comes in when building sets with highly reflective surfaces. Virtual production allows you to capture those reflections accurately in camera. And because the creative intent is baked into the photography, your editors won't need to play any guessing games in post. You can have more efficient shoot days, you can have a more efficient post schedule, because a lot of what you're capturing is already in camera. So when you go into the edit, the intent of the shot is already there. On the set, you're not having to pause for weather cover. You, you can just continue with the digital content. Perhaps it isn't your location that you need to create virtually. Maybe it's a fully digital character, like an extraterrestrial or a talking animal. Is this real? Pinch me. Ow, it's real. Virtual production allows for real-time performance capture that can place your character into the virtual environment using tools like Simulcam. This will be helpful in setting up the VFX team for success down the line. So when you're ready to kick off your next project, Take the time to explore virtual production with the tech that we have available today. If you can dream it, you can make it.